In my last video where I tested how lacquer thinner would affect the parts of a smartphone, it was useful because it showed exactly what kinds of parts were susceptible to that kind of solvent. At that point I felt like I could use it to attempt taking off a glued on screen, but then I came up with a new idea. To see this new idea in action, stay tuned. Today, my new idea for attempting to open a device that's glued shut is similar to using a flatbed heating pad. You can easily find these products online and you may occasionally see a YouTube repair channel using one. You're probably thinking, how can this be a new idea? Well that's because I'm going to use this, a frying pan. The idea is simple, the concept is the same, let's get started. For our DIY heating pad, these are all the items I'm using. Basically, a big enough frying pan to fit the entire device, meaning the device has to sit flat at the bottom of the pan, a folded paper towel, a thermometer and a pot holder for grabbing hot items out of the frying pan. I've already taken temperatures for my specific stovetop and keep in mind that yours is probably different so you should measure it yourself to see how hot it gets. For myself, I found that setting the dial on the L in the low setting gives me about 150 degrees Fahrenheit on top of the paper towel. Based on what I've read, 150 degrees seems like it'll work well for softening the glue enough to pry open the device. In this time lapse, it took 30 minutes to reach 150 degrees. And this is the only drawback I can think of when using a stove top. It takes a long time for the pan to heat up where a heating pad would probably be ready in less than 5 minutes. If you remember the previous test, I set the stove dial to the L in low to get 150 degrees Fahrenheit. However, on this smaller burner, that didn't work, so I went by feel instead and turned up the dial till I could not place my hand on the napkin in the frying pan for more than a second. With the phone on the pan, I'm heating it for 2 minutes. Also, for this test I'm using a really old Moto G from 2013. The battery is no good and the phone's pretty slow in 2020, so sacrificing it for this project is a worthy cause. One thing I found is that you do need something very sharp like a razor blade if the screen is recessed into the frame. I'd recommend only using the razor to pry the glass up high enough so you can get a thin metal pry tool to separate the glass from the frame. Don't ever use the razor to do the separating. After heating the screen again for 2 minutes, my second go at prying around the screen was able to separate the screen from the frame. I was curious of what temperature I was using, although I now know how to go by feel also. The temperature you see in this clip is just the start of the measuring. It eventually peaked at about 230 degrees Fahrenheit. As I worked on the heat pad using a frying pan, something came to mind as I realized one of my devices won't fit in the frying pan. After some thinking, I came up with this new idea that probably sounds as crazy as using a frying pan, but it's something I have around the home, as opposed to a heat gun. Setup on this one's a little easier. Turn on the iron to max and wait for it to heat up. I also covered the tablet with a paper towel to protect it from scratches while I'm ironing. At this point, I'm winging it and going by intuition on how much heating it takes to melt the glue. The technique will change as I figure things out while working my way around the edge. I eventually got the glass off as you'll soon see. It's not as hard as I thought it would be, but I also didn't think it would require so much heating. I would say with my iron on maximum heat, I had to leave it on one spot for about a minute before I could lift it with the suction cup and begin prying.
Another tool I'm sure will be helpful now that I've done this once is one of those scissor suction cups. It's one of those that works like a scissor clamp but has two opposing suction cups. That would have been extremely helpful in separating the glass from the tablet as opposed to using my hand on the hot glass. Keep in mind that this will only work if both sides of the device are smooth since both suction cups need something to stick to. So this assembly with an iron was a success. I think so much so that I'd rather use the iron than the frying pan. With the iron, it felt like using another tool while working on the device. With the frying pan, it felt awkward to have to bring the phone to the pan, heat it up, then move it out of the pan to work on it. Also, I could bring the iron to where my workshop tools are, whereas for the frying pan, I had to bring my workshop to it. This video has been useful for me because I never realized I already had the tools needed for tearing down more modern glued together phones. I probably won't be doing this very often, but when the time comes, I won't be held back by not having a heat gun. I hope this video has helped you realize you too have DIY tools you never knew you had. Leave your questions and comments in the comment section below. That's all I have for now, and I'll catch you in the next video.